cirkel omkring i stå. Hey guys, I know that this is the easiest video you can film. <laughs> you pretty much do the work for me and then I just like bounce off your energy but I can just as well be honest, I have not had the biggest motivation to do YouTube videos for maybe one or two weeks now. I do have some very cool videos planned. I'm going to be doing a room makeover soon and I'm also going to be doing another video. I have something that's coming in the mail soon and I hope it's going to be such a fun video as well. So today it's just going to be super chill. I'm just going to sit here in my bed. This video is not really planned. I have just asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions. Look at my new home screen, by the way. My boy. <laughs> my teenage crush, Chad Michael Murray. Um, but yeah, I have asked you guys to ask me questions. And I think we should just dig in and see what on earth you would like to know this time. Some of the questions I'm going to answer just like briefly. And some of them I'm going to go more into depth with. But the first one is, do you enjoy reading for pleasure? And the answer is no. And I have talked about this a few times. I don't really read at all. One thing is that I don't have time to read uh, or set in another way because of course you just prioritize your time. Um, I don't have time to prioritize to read. Secondly, I live from visuals and sitting down reading is not, it just doesn't, stimulate my brain enough so it bores me very quickly and um, so no I actually don't read I'm very much into movies pictures colors patterns everything visual and if I should read something and when I do read something it is facts not ever fiction I want to learn something when I read where do you get your inspiration for your style like clothing and decorations that's actually a kind of video I've promised to make for a long time I want to make a video about how, how come I have become pretty like alternative at least if you compare me to my parents or my siblings or my friends I am the one who decorates weirdly or wear like weird clothes sometimes so I would love to do a video about that and also like why on earth would I choose to get dreadlocks considering the family and the friends that I have. So that could be an entire video and I want to do that so leave, let me know if you want to see that. What is your favourite colour? Um, that's a tough one. I like mustard. I like green. I like blue, I like, okay, I like pretty much all colour. The only colour I've had kind of an issue with has been um, red, but I'm actually, I'm, I'm kind of loving it now. So I love all colours, all depends on the day. Are you scared to end up alone? That's a deeper question. No, not really. Of course, on a really grey, dark, mentally bad day where I watch something I shouldn't watch or, I don't know, on a bad day, <laughs> I of course can get scared that I won't meet the next love of my life. Um, but mostly I'm not really concerned. I am 25 and I think it's gonna happen so but of course if you catch me on the wrong day I would be able to say yes <laughs> I think every single human on earth even people who are in a relationships and have have been for many many years I think every one are sometimes scared to end up alone it's just I think it's a part of being human watch less where is your dream home if you could live anywhere in the world I don't have a favorite or like I don't have a dream destination of where I want to be but I would love I see myself in a house somewhere with like beautiful nature around it like woods and flower fields 
and <laughs> kind of unrealistic, like a fairy tale, beautiful place. I don't really know where that is yet. I don't know if it's in Denmark or any place else. Um, we'll have to wait and see. But I see myself in a house kind of on the countryside. And then I can have like a garden, grow veggies, <sighs> all of that. Yeah. Are you ever going to bring your dreads back? I don't think so. It's not in my plans. Um, my plan right now is to get my dream and goal hair, which is long curly hair. So it's not, it's not in my plans. But I'm never gonna say never because I am a, an impulsive person. And if I wake up in two weeks time or one year and I want to get dreadlocks again, it's it's gonna happen. And I love my dreadlocks. I've seen that some questions are, um, if I miss my dreadlocks, and. I must say that I don't miss all of the struggle with washing them and drying them and how heavy and warm they are but I do miss the look of them because dreadlocks are so cool and I, I really loved how they looked on me. I loved how they grounded every single outfit that I would wear. I could wear a fur coat and still look super calm and cool. So I really like that fact and um, yeah, sometimes I miss them, I miss the look of them. Do you smoke? No, I don't smoke cigarettes or anything else and I never have, never will. What are your jobs? I think if you watch my videos regularly you know that by now so maybe you can just like say them along with me. I work in a thrift shop, I am a marketing assistant for one less two companies, I have a web shop, wonderlocks.shop and I also do YouTube, Instagram, um, I once had some time in my life to do my own graphic t-shirts and stuff, I don't have much time to do that anymore but yeah, I have four different jobs and then sometimes new stuff will like pop up and I'll do that as well. So quite a few things, I would say. <laughs> have you ever considered going to university? Of course I have and I also went to, um, not of course, I don't know why I said of course, but I, I have. And I even went to the, um, the tests, I don't know, the, the tests that they make here in Denmark to see if you can get access. Um, and yeah, I went there like very unprepared to the to the test to get into uh, journalism. And yeah, it didn't go very well at all. I don't know what I was thinking, like going there so unprepared. Yeah, you should only know how embarrassing it was. Which languages do you speak? I speak Dansk, Danish. English I understand some German and then a little bit Spanish yeah I would say English and Danish if you ask me have you ever had mental health problems no luckily not um, I actually consider myself um, pretty mentally strong I think I'm really good at not that you can avoid like serious health issues but I actually think I'm really good at sensing if something is getting too much of a problem for me or if I sense something is becoming an issue. I think I'm really good at like working with myself, I'm really good at working with my fears, I'm really good at if I have something I'm very insecure about, I think I'm really good at like analyzing what it is that makes me so insecure or scared. Um, and then kind of like working on those things so that they don't build up and become too big of a problem. Because I have always been a very sensitive girl and I have some things from my childhood and from my past that could easily have turned into issues not something I'm gonna 
go into in this video but um, it hasn't always been super easy but yeah no I have not that's the answer for the question sorry I'm not good at the short answers how much money do you earn with wonderlogs and social media that's a very straight on question um, I'm not going to answer that, like, you don't ask people how much they earn. I can tell you guys that I have earned over the September, October, November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June. Okay, so over, it's pretty much the first year of running Wonderlux, I have earned, I'm just going to use a calculator to let you guys know how much money I've earned. There we go, so over the first year of running Wanderlogs, I have earned about 260 euros. Yeah, yep. <laughs> That's one year of work. And I think if you put together the hours I've put into it, it's like crazy, so. That's what I'm gonna tell you. I'm just I'm not gonna tell you like overall how much money I make, but I can tell you guys that my bank, the bank lady, I went to the bank bank not so long ago. I think it was I filmed it in a vlog, but I think it was about two months ago or something, and um, I was gonna go talk to them about pension because now when I'm self-employed, you're gonna have to make your own pension. I wanted to go there and talk to them about starting one and she said to me that I was too poor to start a pension so that's what I can clear with you guys I don't make a lot of money my bank lady doesn't think so and I definitely don't think so either so yep how do you deal with being single um, if you mean if I'm doing great or best it's of course only my opinion um, or if you're thinking would I like to get in a relationship or not um, I'm just going to guess what you want to hear um, I think I'm doing great at being on my own um, and I also think it's okay being single I've been single for now two and a half years close to three years we're actually very close to three years now um and i think i'm doing great and i think i've been doing great sometimes there's been some people due to the fact that i've been talking about dates and how it would be lovely to meet someone that i could see more permanently or like instead of just dating a new guy once in a while it would be nice to actually meet someone you want to get to know sometimes when I've talked about that on my YouTube channel some people have jumped to the conclusion that I was needy for love um, which I'm gonna say if I was very needy for love I think I would have had a boyfriend by now it's not because there hasn't been anyone and if I really wanted a boyfriend I think I would have found one so I am very comfortable being on my own but when that has been set I would love to meet a nice cute guy that I could get to know a guy that could come around on a quiet Friday evening where I'm just like spending it alone on the sofa and I know that some of you will say you can just hang out with friends but it's not really the same feeling having somebody close to you sometimes i just miss skin like contact with other skin sometimes i just miss cuddles and that would be awkward doing that with a friend it would i don't know about your friendships but with my friendships it would be weird so i think i'm doing great being on myself and um and being single but i would still love to meet someone how tall are you i am 162 centimeters i think it's five five what is that how is that you say it five feet 
and three inches? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. What kind of music do you love the most? Um, indie rock, indie pop kind of music. And what's your favorite color? We have tried to answer that. It wasn't easy. Are you planning on getting another animal? No, I'm not. Um, Luna would hate if I got another animal. Luna, it's like it's like with Luna. She owns. She think that she owns this apartment, and I'm just a guest here. That's truly how it is with her. So she's a very bossy little rabbit, and another animal would in no way be welcome here. So it would just be. It would not be fair to the new animal. So no, I'm not getting another one. I am happy with Luna. Just the way that it is. Um, we have to respect that Luna owns this place. What are your thoughts about plastic surgery? Would you consider changing something? I've decided I'm going to end this video here. It's already long enough. And then I'm going to answer some of the more deeper opinionated questions in another video so um it's gonna go up tomorrow that means i have two videos of content good job and also to you guys so if you have been enjoying so far and you want to have the answers to some more serious in-depth questions plastic surgery and also some love questions then watch again tomorrow so have an amazing day and thank you for watching leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it I'm gonna see you all again tomorrow. Bye.